What's up guys, uh, this is the Motivational Gamer Kellex here bringing you guys another episode of what to do with your crew. So today we're visiting Infinite X um, and we're going to be covering all of his units and um, teaching him what he can do to successfully move forward in the game and progress faster uh, with his current box. Uh, and in turn we're going to help you guys become better um, and uh, with that being said guys let's go ahead and dive in and get this party started. No, we're starting now. Let's not buy it yet. Just beginning. <laughs> All right, guys. Let, let's take a look at uh, Infinite X. All right, so right out the gate, um, we're seeing quite a few five stars. Uh, he's only level 28. Don't yell at him. Um, just RNG has just blessed him that way. So if you guys aren't getting five stars, um, this is where they went. <laughs> he's got some sick units for sure. Uh, let's. All right, so let's move all the way to the beginning. Uh, it's just to cover some stuff. Oh, my God, dude. Ah, uh, you, uh, like, I'm almost, like, I'm excited for you, but I, like, I feel your pain, like, at the same time, because seeing all of these units together, dude, like, I, I wouldn't even know what I would do, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Let's see, okay, so Dark Bounty Hunter is going to be food, um, flat out. Uh, his utility is just not good enough, like, they try to put a decent skill set together for him, um, but he's just, mm, he's okay, mediocre. Uh, Dark Warbear Gorgo just recently got a buff. I'll actually be grabbing one of these myself tonight as, uh, as soon as I'm done recording videos. I'll be grabbing one of these simply because now that he has, he, I think he's the only unit um, that has three straight skills dedicated that scale with his max HP. I think he's the only one. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's the only one. And with that being said, guys, you stack him with some HP and no matter what, he's dealing massive damage. Uh, so don't be surprised that like for all you senior players, don't be surprised when you see see this guy uh, in the arena or uh, later on in in guild battle getting in that ass. Uh, so keep that in mind. Again, you guys know I love the light trio, so I don't have to go into that. Uh, the light beast hunter I covered, uh, I think like episode six or something. But you know that annoying guy Tashar that does damage based on how much HP you have. This guy does the same thing. Absolute beast can deal some incredible, incredible damage. Uh, so if you ever see this guy in arena, don't underestimate him. Again, he's more of a late build, uh, a late game uh, target, uh, but he's going to be incredibly useful for dungeons, especially if you if you know you're having trouble getting that fives and that fours, and uh, you want to focus on a unit that can deal a shit ton of damage to the boss uh, based on their HP, because his H his attack power goes up according to the enemy's max HP. So the more HP they have, the more damage you do. It's not like the other skills that are like it's proportionate to the enemy's HP, it just goes up. Like for instance, Tashar, the Wind Phoenix does the same thing, and the Wind Phoenix, uh, I think one shot one of my water units for like 40k. Um, so that'll give you an idea. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely a beast of a unit, so don't overlook that. So let's go ahead and skip past this. I, I'm sure you guys have seen, I'm sure he's, he's all the rest of his units, but looks like he's saving all these Wind Priests for Chloe whenever that day comes. He's got Megan, Water Charging Shark, uh, Wind Samurai, again, Wind Akasis, Lucian, I mean, stacked units. Um, that's a Giants B10 team right here. <laughs> I mean, Delphoi, Brian, uh, Windicassis, and then some light units, and you got your Giants B10 team right there, and we haven't even touched anything. Dark or water? Yeah, it's food. Uh, water Rack is my personal hell farmer. Uh, beast. Our uh, damage scales very well. Fire Rack, Dragons B10 speed team, and pretty much most of the end game dragons for attack bar control. Uh, Tyron is going to be useful for... Um, PvP arena. Now, uh, he, holy shit, dude. Dark Monkey King. All right, so let's check this guy. I've never seen this guy before, so we're going to showcase this uh, Dark Monkey King together. Uh, let's look at his skills. So Summon Cloud, the text of the giant cloud to inflict damage proportional to his max HP and stuns him for one turn or decreases the defense for two turns with a 50% chance. So either way, you win. Uh, if, you, if you fail, you get a stun. If you win, you get defense break. So either way, awesome. A monkey. Yeah, it's a monkey. That's cool, huh? It's funny. Yeah, so uh, second skill is the attacks and decreases the defense for two turns with a 75% chance. Attack power increases as his HP decreases. Attacks with the monkey one stuns. Okay, so this guy's gonna be, um, I don't know, he can kind of be, he's, he's a bit multifaceted. Um, he could be good. He, well, not really good. I would say he can be useful um, in dungeons simply because, like, you could just do a HP build, and as his HP goes down, 
uh, he's going to deal more damage. Again, this guy is going to shine a lot more in Arena simply because of the double defense break and how his skills scale with how his HP goes down. He's going to take a little bit of finesse because you're going to literally have to stack this guy with HP. I'd say maybe HP crit damage, HP, fill it out with substats. But that's something that you're not really going to be doing because he's going to take a lot of work and a lot of really great runes so you can kind of help him reach his full potential. So as of right now, dude, awesome unit to have, um, you know, so you can kind of put him aside, but he's going to take a little bit of f finesse to be useful uh, later, but definitely put him aside. Uh, you're not really going to focus on him right now too much. Uh, just because like he's not really going to play a part uh, next unit obviously of course you guys know i love shannon and bernard they're beasts they make any team better amen dope windico windico girl um she's going to be one of your primaries for your dragon speed ten uh giant excuse me giant speed 10 team Sp and uh orochi uh you you might as well just put those two together and sign the deal because they're they are going to be absolutely paramount together uh, combine those two with Bernard and Shannon and let's say you throw a healer in there and you can call it a day. Your Giants B10 team is done as long as you, obviously of course there are stat requirements, you can't just throw any unit in there just because they're 5 star. Uh, there's stat requirements, you're, you're looking at 15k minimum above, you want Orochi's crit rate at 100%, you want to get this this uh, a cold girl, despair focus is great, um, as you move into arena you're going to want to switch to a violent build to maximize. Uh, she is awesome, 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 dude. She can deal some sick, sick damage. So, again, just keep working on her runes. You got a pretty good build right now. Once her crit rate gets over 50%, you're going to want to switch this fourth uh, rune here, slot four to crit damage. Um, and then you can really see her work her magic. Copper is going to be more of a arena build later. Same thing with Ramagos. Um, now, the rest of these guys are food, not Orochi, but Fuko is just a Waller unit. You can put him aside. With the units that you have, you're not... You're really going to be building him. He's typically only used as a staller defense, but I mean, most of the time, specifically Beast Monkey King units or any strong fire team, wall, anything, are really shredding Fuko to bits. Uh, Fuko is just there. A lot of mid 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 level players, mid game players, early late game players are attracted to him because of his damage shield and his damage capabilities. Uh, but he's really really easy to shut down. Um, so just put him aside and worry about Arena again. Same thing, early to mid game build you're not really going to focus too much on her just because her shield like she makes she's very viable early on but she will go away real quick so in order to get the biggest return on your investment i would just put her aside and focus on something else um zeros okay here's the thing dude so this is what you need to know about zeros uh i know he's an attack type but honestly he's best built with hp you want to build him with as much hp as possible despair despair focus is great but you're going to want to build him with as much hp as possible the longer that xeros is in a fight the more effective he is um i love fighting players that have an attack type xeros they're so easy to destroy dude honestly uh, because what happens is is like most attack type xeros maybe have 14k hp maybe 15k i mean that's a one shot and if I get first turn out of the gate, I'm sending him home in an ambulance, and he ain't coming back. So, key thing, the more HP Zero has, the more effective he's going to be. Um, you can set him as a lead, because understand that the rest of your team will support Zeros um, and help him do what he needs to do. Because you want to literally have him in there and putting the enemy school downs, uh, skills on cooldown as much as possible. Uh, and you do that by having him stay in the fight. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Zeros is a beast unit, absolute beast. Uh, you don't need to make him a farm or anything like that. He's going to come into play uh, dragons of or dungeons, TOA, mostly TOA, mostly arena guild battle. That's where he's going to shine, absolutely shine. Um, you can use him in dragons and giants, but again, you know, there's other units that you're going to use that are more effective than him. Does that make sense? Um, so let's go to the next unit. So let's go over Kumar. So Kumar is uh, probably uh, one of the best beast, beast monks in the game, period. Um, he's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I mean, he's curb stomping people. All you have to do literally with him, HP up, and he's good. So the, the trouble that you're probably running into now is that you have a lot of great units, right? So you're filling your runes out here. Uh, looks like you either A, got lucky, or B, uh, bought some rune packs and filled them out. So this is this is the, the circumstance that you're running into. You have units right now that are solely based on PvP, which is great. Um, and you're probably crushing people in the arena right now, just bashing them 
but what's going to happen is your runes are going to hit a cap, okay? And uh, once your runes hit a cap, you're still going to need to get in those dungeons because you're going to always, always, always get better runes. And what's going to happen is while your uh, while your towers are maxed, while your buildings are maxed, while your other runes, while your support units don't have the runes that they need, even though let's say your pure attackers do, um, this is only going to get you to a certain point. And then once your runes cap and you start getting up against like some solid players, some players that are in there cranking it out with uh, violent, with the same stats that you have or more, like like right now, let's he has thirty one thousand HP, which is okay. But when you start running into players who have 50,000 AHP on their Kumar, um, and you're like, holy shit, what am I doing with my life? Um, that's the transition that's going to happen. So what I recommend you do, even though, like, use these units, farm the glory points that you have, but, um, you know, kind of slow down the focus on them right now. Because still, your primary focus, even though you have all these Nat 5s, dude, is literally going to be to get through the dungeons. Uh, you have to get through giants. You have to get through dragons. You already have your giants B10 team here already. Orochi, um, you know, Winnicott Girl, Shannon Bernard, and Amon, or any other, you know, healer. Well, you don't have any other healer. But, yeah. Uh, or Delphoi you can throw in there, you know. And you're just going to focus, hone in, and start getting these these uh, these runes. Because the faster you get better runes, specifically for your units, you flesh out him, get him on an HP build so he has more than 10,000 HP. Uh, you, you know, his HP is fine and it'll grow as you get better. I see you've been focusing a lot on this unit because he's the first uh, Nat 5 that you have awakened, looks like. Um, but honestly, dude, slow down on this guy. Focus on your, on your dungeon units and pull through it'll feel like you're moving backwards for a little bit but once you catch up get up to speed start getting b10 on farm uh or excuse me bab9 b10 on farm uh and then you start moving into dragons you get dragons b8 through 10 on farm uh you're gonna start getting a lot better runes so you'll start getting through toa a lot easier because you already have the units to crush absolutely crush toa but you're not going to be able to do that unless you get the support and get the units that you need and the runes that you need in order to be successful. So, uh, you know, that's going to be your primary focus right now. Um, I'm not really going to get into your Dragons team too much yet um, because you need to focus on the progression right now. All right, so, you know, and that's it, dude. Um, so focus, like, get your support units up. Like, uh, again, like, you're just going to want to get HP. Like, Amon is going to need a lot more HP than 12,000 or 13,000. Um, your goal... You got to get your support units minimum 15 to 25,000 HP. Um, obviously, 20,000 is uh, is the better mile marker. I mean, and that's everybody. You're talking. He needs 15,000. She needs 15,000. All of these guys need 15,000 HP. Um, if you're gonna run a shield unit instead of uh, like let's say Darian, uh, then you're going to want to. Well, you have a Darian, so I'd start working on Darian. Get him awakened. Start working on him ASAP. Um, so you can uh, start getting your team together, dude, because uh, that's the only thing you're missing right now is the support. Um, so get your support lined up, and then you'll start seeing like these runs be a lot easier. Because I'm sure what you found now is even though you have a ton of attack or you have a ton of attack capability, um, it kind of comes to a quick stopping point very quickly. And once you get these other units uh, squared away and the runes start pouring in, dude, you are going to, it's going to, oh my god, dude. It's going to blow your mind how much you're going to accomplish, how quickly. Uh, so that's it, dude. Just focus, man. And and that's it. That brings this video to a close. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, or if you have any specific attack strategies or rune strategies that you want to discuss uh, with your monsters specifically, like your Nat 5s or Nat 4s, uh, let me know. I'd love to help you out. Uh, just you know, shoot me a message. Um, or, you know, if you want a private message, shoot me a private message. If you want to do public, shoot me a comment. We can discuss it. Open it up for the whole community to get in. Again, thank you so much for the opportunity to review your account. And uh, we'll see you guys next video.